Taurus Singles, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead. Happy weekend to you. I hope that you are well. I've already blessed these cards. We are just going to shuffle a bit and then we're going to cut. We're going to do a reading for Taurus Singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So if you have aspects anywhere there, whether it's in your big three or Venus or Jupiter, this could possibly be some information in this reading for you. All right. Taurus Singles. Taurus Singles. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Taurus Singles. What's going on with our Taurus Singles, please? Connect me with our Taurus Singles. My bovine lovelies. Yep. There we go. All right. Oh, we got one that dropped out already. Two, actually. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. We are starting with the lovers. <gasps> coming back around again. Look at you, Taurus. Well, I am sorry to say, someone is coming back from your past. It could be an ex. It could be a friend, a cousin, sister or brother. I'm not talking about romance, you guys, at all, period. I do see the lovers is here. It could be a romantic partner that's coming back. Um, it could be someone who... Um, uh, someone who possibly has Gemini in their chart, in their big three, or Pisces. I feel like um, with the judgment here, yeah, you know, it's not not cousin, sister, brother. It is love. Yeah, I just got told. Yeah, it is love. It is it is a love that's being sent by the universe, I think. And um, this is someone that you already know. It doesn't have to be someone that you used to be married to or used to date. It doesn't have to be that. It could be someone that you met in a five-minute conversation at a party two years ago and they were never able to stop thinking about you, right? It could be anyone coming back to clean their karma, coming back for a second chance. You haven't seen this person in a while. The last time you two spoke may have been a little harsh. Yep. There may have been a little bit of... Uh, there might have been words spoken here. And I think that's why you two haven't seen each other in a while. I think that's why there's a break in the communication here. Um, either both of you are healing or there just is a, a break in the communication here. I feel like the last time you saw each other, there was a lot of arguing going on, sharp words. So, yeah. Let's take a look here. Let's keep going. What else do we have here, please? For our, er or, I'm sorry, our Taurus. Singles. I don't know why I'm stuck on airy singles. Taurus singles. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. The thing is, is I think you were in love with this person in the past. And I think it was for the reason that there was this break or break up, maybe the three, uh, sorry, the four of swords. That's maybe why the sharp words happened here. I feel like you thought about this for a very long time. You've been, you've been thinking about this person for a very long time. They've been on your mind in the morning and on your mind at night. I feel like you're trying to see things from a different perspective. I feel like with, well, the Pisces, the hanged man is Pisces and Pisces is highly intuitive. I think that you're trying to use your intuition to figure out what's going on here because there has been a break in the action or a break in uh, conversation, communication with this person and you don't know what's going on with them right now. I feel like you are trying to use your Piscean energy, you know, that intuitive energy to find out what's going on here. I feel like this person though is okay with coming back around a second time and I think they're going to do it fairly soon. I feel as though maybe it just could be a couple days or a couple weeks. Um, <clears throat> Um, you and this person are going to have a meeting of sorts and you're going to have very different opinions on things. Um, I think you're both very strong um, mentally. I think you're both highly in intelligent. And I think that you'll have the same opinions on some things, but it is, it is going to be tough to try and find a happy medium on some of the things that you'll speak about. I feel like... Um, 
the person that is uh, coming towards you, my uh, Taurus single, could be someone who is Cancer, Pisces. could be someone who is Gemini. Again, uh, Judgment is Pisces. Um, it could be someone who is Libra, um, Gemini or Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I feel like with you not having a connection though lately that it does give you very good balance I feel like you want victory this time that you're not going to you're not going to take no for an answer I think that this has gone round once and you're not going to lose out the second time um the communications and connections you had with this person, my Taurus singles, gave you balance. Um, I also feel like that even though there were harsh words at the end of this breakup, that there, that you still feel like this could be a long-term relationship. Why did you break up? Well, maybe you didn't break up because, you know, the Five of Swords isn't necessarily a breakup. It's more about sharp words, arguments, fighting, um, competition, um, that kind of thing. So I feel like even though these harsh words were spoken, that you still feel like this person could be a long-term relationship person that could be a Libra. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's look here. Oh, new start. Look at that. So this is a, a start of a new cycle, right? This is uh, going to the world card, uh, finishing up with that, and then starting a cycle again. So I feel, Taurus um, singles, that you are going through a new cycle here. I feel like whatever you were in before, this, this uh, I don't know, it could be a romance with a fire sign. Uh, I feel like you... Um, I feel like you're done waiting for that. If, if you were waiting for someone who is... Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo, I feel like this person um, just wants, I think they want to do their own thing. Yeah, I don't think they want to drag anybody along into their, um, into their plans here. I think they plan on going it alone. Um, something happened and there was a, an ending here. Um, Yeah, I think you two go your own ways and then there's an ending here. But I feel like in the midst of all that, there is somebody bringing in an opportunity to you, Taurus. Uh, the Empress here, Taurus and Libra. I feel like they're bringing an opportunity for a new start that is going to be very lucrative. So if you're willing to drop your... Um, willing to drop your burdens here and go on a new path in passion, that's what you're getting there. You're getting the, uh, the marriage. Yep. You're getting the very sturdy, um, rock-solid relationship with someone who's willing to do whatever they need to do in order to keep you in their life. All right, let's do some clarifying here. Clarifying. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for Taurus singles, please. Tell us about love and the hanged man. I think you've waited for this love for a long time. A love like this. I think you've waited for that forever. So when this person does come forward, I think that you may say yes, but I think you're still looking at it. I don't know. In the hanged man energy, you're still looking at it here. Five of wands, competition. So um, I think that Someone sees that you that there is a lot of competition for you, Taurus, and um, they're thinking about you know maybe coming in quicker than they thought they might have to because they're worried someone's going to scoop you up and drag you off, right? <sighs> Neat. So wherever there was darkness, there will now be light. That's what the fountain card is about. It's about the light at the end of the tunnel. That you have done all that you can do now. Now is time to wait for the blessings of the universe. So I feel like you have done all you can in this connection, Taurus. If you are trying to manifest somebody coming into your life, my Taurus singles, I feel like you've done all your part. You've done everything that you can do for now. And you just need to leave it up to the universe. We have major arcana all over the place here. There's going to be a lot of changes going on, including a new start. I feel like um, 
Yeah, I feel like you've come through through a really dark place, my Taurus single. I feel, yeah. That's you, Queen of Coins. Lovely and beautiful and financially balanced. And even though you have everything that you want, I don't think it's enough. I think you're missing someone. You've realized that money's not the answer. Yeah, there was something that came to an end. And then after this thing came to an end, after you cut this person off, it could someone who could be a Gemini or a Pisces, then um, I feel as though things got a little better in your life. That you started to heal. You realized that really what you did need to do is go on your own way because you'd come through a dark place and what you really need was to heal. You didn't need a relationship. So we have the judgment, which is, you know, second time round here, six of cups. This person that's coming through, um, that's coming toward you here is, uh, could be someone who is a water sign Taurus. They feel like you are home. Like they feel like, you feel like home to them. Yeah. Uh, they feel like maybe you guys are in a soulmate connection here and they don't know what to do about it. Because they've never been in this situation before where they've come back around the second time and asked someone else to marry them. So this person is coming in possibly to ask you to marry them. They're going to tell you that they ended a situation here. The world is the end of a cycle. So your person, uh, Taurus Singles, is coming in to tell you Yeah, that something has ended here. And it's, uh, I believe it's a marriage because I do see the Four of Wands and the uh, World card here. I feel like your person was in stuck energy for a while, Taurus, whoever it is that's coming forward. That person knows now that you are their soulmate and this person ended a marriage so they could be with you. Eey. That's a lot of pressure. No pressure at all, Taurus. <laughs> No pressure at all. <sighs> okay. So, you know why I feel they did? Because they, they understand. I feel like your person has healed and now they understand the divine energy. They get that this is a fated event. They get that the universe is in control of all of this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Something is harboring this connection, though. Something's bothering this connection. I feel like in order for you to stay in balance, you must be rested. You must have, you know, be on top of your mental health. Your communications and connections have to be balanced. And I feel like you are doing that. I feel like you are making judgments um, based on the past history you have with some people and I think you're just cutting them out because I think they ended up being part of your sickness or the reason you got sick or they watched you get sick and um, they watched you get sick and they didn't do anything about it. Uh, we have the, the three of wands here. Yeah, it tells me that um, you were waiting to feel healed. Yeah, you were waiting um, before you moved forward you wanted to be healed. Knight of Swords, but what you didn't know is that there would be no justice here because someone was holding back. So we have um, someone who does have love for you, who wants a second time around here, um, but this person has been holding back from you. They haven't told you how they feel. They haven't told you how rich you make them feel. Um, there is no justice here. Yeah, this person has not come to a decision yet as to whether they're going to come forward and let you know how they feel. Let's take a look at the Five of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. This is the long-term relationship, and I, I think it isn't until after, after you've been fighting, after you've parted for a while, when you come back together for this new start here, I feel like you finally understand that this is 
the long-term relationship. This person could be um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. What else do we have here? So I feel like the arguments and um, honesty and the person who is fighting for this connection, I feel like they know this is a Ten of Cups connection with you and that you are at the crossroads of your life wondering what to do next, right? You're single, wondering what is, um, what's coming next. Is, is that all it's about? Just making money? That's it? Um, we have the Nine of Swords, um, which tells me that you're, you're, you're still thinking about the last words that you two had. Um, they may not have been kind because I feel like one or both of you were exhausted. I feel like you weren't sleeping properly. You both had lots of anxiety and um, uh, depression going on. Mate could be treated or untreated. I don't know, but I feel as though... Um, yeah, it could be untreated. I feel as though uh, you have decided you are going back to uh, the crossroads in your life here because things are not moving the way you wanted them to with the connection you thought you had over here. We do have the Three of Swords. It's been tough because you haven't seen this person and you just assume that the connection is still in order because that's what you feel. But with the Three of Swords, I feel like you're starting to lose hope here. There still is an opportunity. This thing is not over. So for those of you who are in a twin flame relationship and you know the person who you are chasing is running, I suggest you stop chasing. That will cause your runner to start chasing you. Um, once they feel you pull back on the energy, they're going to start chasing you. Um, yeah, okay. Let's take a look here. Tell me more of what's going on here with these lovers. Tell me more about the lovers, please. Wealthy man. I think this wealthy man has ended something. I feel like he's either gotten a divorce or, you know, card number 13 is the death card, right? Um, and I feel like it was a partnership that ended here. One person on the left, there's a one and a three. One person who ended a partnership. I feel like because it's 13 that it came to an end and um, it took a long time or will take a long time to get out to back out of this um, relationship because it takes a long time to settle financial financials in the relationship. Tell me about this. Um, tell me about the judgment card and the world, please. What's going on here? I think we've had a marriage that is done. Yeah, someone's in despair. Yeah. They might have even lost their job. The partnership has now turned to two. And, uh, yeah, a three and two is six, uh, sorry, five, and five is quick change. So I feel like things are going to change. And um, once you get some sort of a message of concern, Taurus Singles. So um, the message of concern is um, I'm single and I'm balanced. And that happened not just a short time ago. So one and four is five, quick change. Uh, the one on the left could be one person, the four on the right could be balance. So I think that this person is sending a message to the Taurus single saying, look, I'm out of the marriage. Um, I am still not healed from that ending, but I just want you to know that I am looking at being balanced. I am going to be single and um, I feel like there's more to be said here, but we'll go in with a different card to clarify. Yeah, there is there is a place on the pathway for you, Taurus Singles, with this person. Um, I feel like in a partnership, they really are going to push this partnership. I feel like they're on the same path as you. I feel as though you both have come through some sort of a... Uh, transformation of sorts. I feel like you both have walked this path alone and you've learned a lot of stuff. You've worked really hard on yourself. Um, yeah, and I think there is going to become a pretty quick partnership out of um, should you guys decide to meet in person. I think there is going to be a really um, good and solid partnership, whether it be business or love, that will come from 
uh, this connection here. Tell me more about this, please. Tell me more about the wealthy man. The wealthy man wants a new start. The stork is about things that are brand new. Could be babies, could be love, because the despair is now done. I feel like your person had been depressed for quite some time. They were waiting for this whole thing to end. And finally now we've got the grave card here. Something has come to an end. And although um, your person or you, Taurus, may have been in despair, I feel like things are going to work out. Yeah, moving forward, I think we've got the lady here for a reason. I think it's the lady that receives the message of concern, whether that's a text or a letter, um, that is going to tell her that there is, um, yeah, secrets. There's more to what's going on than meets the eye. The journal is, a pl journal is um, you know, something that you would keep your secrets in. There are secrets to be revealed here about a couple who really want balance. Also, I feel like this could be a power couple. They both work really hard. Yep. What else we got here? The lilies. Let's take a look at the lilies. I haven't had the lilies in a while. I know it's about love. Or maybe I was wrong last time saying it was about love. What else do we have here? We have 30, the lilies. Somewhat of influence, maturity, or wisdom, a content situation. All right, so you are going to meet up with this person who has walked this path. Um, and I feel as though you two have walked the path together but apart, so parallel to one another. Um, yeah, communication, documents, invitations. So I feel like this person is going to contact you and let you know that they are finally healed. That they know what their direction is now and where they're going. And I think that's what they're going to tell you um, about what's going on in their life right now. So I think um, I will take this over to the extended my Taurus singles if you're interested in coming over there to um, to uh, talk about the sign of your person to talk about um, I think we need to talk more about this twin flame connection that I think I see here and um, I'm going to talk about um, I think that this is a delay here. I feel like this is because this person was in despair and needed to come to the end of that. I feel like this person has been staying away from you because they didn't want this for you. They didn't want the despair for you. Um, so when this marriage comes to an end or came to an end, um, I feel like there was a despair over the ending for your person. So I kind of want to see how they're doing now because, you know, this could be the, the past energy here. I want to see how that is working out for them now. I want to talk about this new start with the storks, see how that's going to go down. Um, we are going to also look at this message of concern and find out what that is about, who it's from and what it's, it's, uh, what it's regarding. We're going to talk about this new start. I'll take that off the bottom of the deck. So we're going to we're going to talk about the fool, and I think we're good. So I'm going to go over to the um, the extended. If this is where um, we part here, Taurus Singles, thank you so much for watching here. If you do enjoy the content, I, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And um, if you could uh, share and subscribe, I would absolutely be overjoyed. So I'm going to go for now. I will see you next week. And I'm going to head on over to the extended. Bye, Taurus Singles.